go through the madness Let the message pull you through This is our medal of honor to you And now, Armed Forces Weekly with Donna Lyons on TSPN. Good morning. Welcome to Armed Forces Weekly. I am Donna Lyons, and I'm thrilled to have Renee Davis with us from the Amador Calveras Hospice. And you. you guys are, you have this wonderful program that's Vets on Vet Run. That's Is correct. that you'd say? And it's called We Honor Veterans. And welcome. Thank you so I'm much, so Donna. glad you made it. We've had Thank a you. couple things going wrong here today, but, <laughs> but we're here we now. are. Exactly. Yeah, it's working now. Tell everybody just the basis of this program. Absolutely. We Honor Veterans is an amazing national awareness campaign for hospice providers, physicians, and um, hospices like ours to help better understand the needs of veterans at end of life. It was um, created by the National Hospice and Palliative Care out of Washington, D.C., and the, um, the Veterans Administration. And do they have, they have individual, you guys qualify? How does this work that, um, how did it get out here if it started out there? Absolutely. So while it being a national campaign, we had not necessarily heard of it as yet, but we, ironically, last fall, we had just a special, amazing um, patient who we weren't able to help with some of his needs, and we were a little bit frustrated by wanting to do everything we could to get him mm -hmm. his benefits for his VA benefits, and we were having a hard time with that and some of the right. things that he was struggling with. So we started doing some research, and our amazing director of nursing, Kayla White, um, looked into it, and we got signed on in December, and now we're learning everything we can to do. And to what join. is it? What is the process for um, people if they want to? become part of this organization. Absolutely. So it's a very, I feel, a, an important thing that it really makes the person or the hospice group learn everything they can through this amazing resourceful uh, website, wehonorveterans.org. Okay. So that's part of the national campaign. It walks you through everything. So a hospice can join saying they just simply want to start as a recruit, meaning they want to learn everything they can to become more veteran-centric at their facility okay. and help people like our sweetheart last year and that's what we did and so we already can tell the difference of how to better help someone like that right and how long have you guys been doing it we joined as a recruit in December okay. and we earned our first star as of April 1st that's awesome and that's what this is the that's correct so I have to show everybody this this is their little um, certificate that they mm -hmm. got but it's actually a big deal so it's a very big deal Donna big deal to us yeah. because one of the things that we have learned is the, we did not realize that Amador County is one of the highest county per capita of veterans in the state of California. I did not know that. 14.3 percent. taught me something. And we were flabbergasted by it because we only have a small amount of veterans on service. And that means we need to help more and not only help and reach them, but we need to be able to better serve them because we are finding in the crux of the program that I didn't mention is um, what has happened so often is veterans whether they've seen combat or not so often have carried things with them that they haven't thought of since the days they were in the right. service and those things will a lot of times reemerge at end of life therefore impeding them having a peaceful passing that's amazing yeah that's so amazing and and also now you said that other veterans can help other veterans tell us about that part of the program exactly so the tiered program of We Honor Veterans has four different levels. Okay. And one of the levels talks about the importance of establishing your own veteran to veteran volunteer program. Okay. And I'm proud to say, even though that's level three, we've already started it and we're just so excited. We're so anxious to get this word out to everyone. We already have had two wonderful young men, um, uh, uh, Vietnam veterans that are have already signed up and gone through our training and they're ready to see patients and um, so we have five total because we already had three that were already volunteers on staff and you guys um, are looking for more right absolutely so who absolutely. tell me who they would contact if they wanted to, to do this Ann method at 223 5500 okay 
She's our volunteer coordinator, does a great job of matching the right veteran with the right patient. Yeah. And now Patrick Henry, who was yes. on my show, is he one of the he two sure you is. are talking about? Yes, okay. it is. Patrick was awesome. Patrick, if you're watching, you were just incredible on the show. But I think it was I couldn't just, agree more. he started talking about your program, and that's when mm -hmm. I heard about it. And then I think you guys contacted the show and said, we'd love to come on in. I just think you this, are is, right. this is so awesome that you can do this. Thank you. Tell us about all the levels. I know you said mm -hmm. there's one through four. What is, mm -hmm. what is one? Okay, absolutely. The first one is just basically realizing that you need to identify now it sounds so simple like we would already be doing this right. or all hospices nationwide but they aren't is recognizing and asking your patients about their military service so the first thing is identifying a milit military experience okay so with that that's part of our program now when we do an admission is you know if, if they say yes they did do ser um, they served our country in what um, military era or war did they serve what kind of combat and so okay. it, it's a called a military checklist it better equips us to understand what they may be experiencing perhaps so okay. if, let's say if it's a Korean War veteran and there's a possibility at end of life some of that delayed exposure to you know cold you know, weather may re sh um, show itself at end of life. It is crazy, as well as World War II. Yes. So that's so f the first level is becoming more veteran centric. Okay. Your whole com you know, our whole agency, we've been doing in, um, in services, staff meetings, so that our volunteers, all of our employees, clinical and non clinical, understand veterans' needs better and how to mm -hmm. serve these amazing people. That's just, I mean, yeah. the, the whole concept behind it is, is good because it actually gives, um, you know, the veterans that are out there, you know, like Patrick Henry was saying, he had a really hard time when he came back and he mm -hmm. went back to school and the learning process helped him, you know, um, cope with life right. exactly and living so people so true. helping being able to come to something like your program is just Thank it's got to be a wonderful thing well you know the more i learn about the vet to vet program the more excited i get that not only is it helping these amazing you know end of life patients that are struggling with trying to find some peace as they go through their life review and try to heal and let go right but it also helps these wonderful volunteers that are so sweet and want to give their time like patrick you yeah. know and understand that it's going to help heal them if they didn't even realize they need it perhaps if they felt in a good place a good enough place to volunteer yet they find the the program has found to be so right. successful both ends to to have a a great good you know takeaway it's a win-win right i mean the whole thing's a win-win it's just it amazing and I, I and i know my daughter works with um um she's an aide for Alzheimer's patients mm -hmm. and she said you know that end of life and she's actually at a retirement military retirement community as oh well goodness. so it may be something for that facility to look into absolutely and that's basically what this is right I mean that's anybody correct. can it's any free. hospice center can call up and say hey we're interested we have a couple veterans here and that's how it starts exactly they have to simply get on and actually per, they could still simply go to the website the we honor veterans .org, that okay. national De, uh, website I was telling you about right it right. truly has everything you can imagine as far as becoming more veteran centric no matter what okay. your facility is okay and then um, let's go on to level two sure absolutely so level two is not only taking the taking it to a whole nother level of what I was just mentioning having your in-service now you need with your employees and teaching them about some of these differences that might present at end of life for a veteran versus a non-veteran but also mm -hmm. now integrating all that into all of our policies and procedures so now all, part of our charting all has to include to make sure we don't forget the you know to ask those important questions and make sure they're getting those um, benefits that they, they would be eligible for right yeah, and yeah. so I would think that it starts getting into like you said the benefits where you're at probably find stuff that they didn't know they had oh correct to help them correct so and then exactly. level three and level three uh, again it just keeps building so level three yeah. you have to establish that vet to vet you know volunteer program which we were so excited about we decided to just hit it now and then level f and level three also includes reaching out to other veteran service office um, organizations so we've been reaching out to the American Legion they've been a great partner of ours for years and so we're just so thrilled that you know we were able to participate in a recent um, outreach clinic um, they invited us to and when we mentioned you know how can we help you in addition to right. reaching more veterans letting them know we're here for them when they need us and telling them about us you know what can we do for you and so we're trying to help them also with 
any ways we have to get the word out when they have their next outreach clinic, which is actually November 7th. And, you know, letting people know that they have that as an option to remember to go to the American Legion and, you know, get their free service if they're a veteran. Yeah, the American Legion is awesome. I noticed yes, I they, drive, they give us our flags. Oh, nice. Um, every nice. week, they, you know, we get the flags from them. They let us use them. And I also saw they had a blood drive. Oh, yesterday it was going on yesterday that. yeah that. yeah i had no clue until i drove by and i said gosh i wish i would have said something on the show because you know i'm trying to keep connected with them as well absolutely so yeah, yeah i'm just um you know the program is just incredible and i think the fact that you guys are reaching out to the veterans is just amazing thank you the hospice itself is just <laughs> is amazing i mean it's a good it's a great hospice center and thank you the fact that you guys are incorporating the veterans now is just um, it's a good thing and would like to see more people join in so mm -hmm. hopefully if they go to this website and can you tell the website one more time absolutely we honor veterans.org okay and who's the person they contact and method Okay. At 223-5500. Awesome. We are going to go to a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to talk to you some more. I'm so excited Excellent. to have you here. Thank you, Donna. And we want to tell this story about um, the little bear you told me this okay. morning. No problem. Okay. Thank we'll you. We'll be right back. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.